Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 Part 10 I am your host Akib Allah And I am Ali Raja Asalaamu Alaikum In today's video we will be showing you how to make this self-watering, self-feeding chilli planter or a self-watering container Now the purpose of this container so you don't have to water your plant ever again Now you can buy this a self-watering chili planter from uh, Amazon or online I think cost about 60 pound or you could watch our video till the end and learn how to make this just for a pound so this year we're planning to make a lot of uh, self-watering containers uh, and then plant most of our Nagamonis plant onto the self-watering containers and we'll also be giving you an update on our vegetable garden so without further ado that let's start gardening let's start gardening Okay, so to make a self-watering, self-feeding chili planter, you need a container. Now the container, make sure it's in black, so there's no light, sunlight going into it. Uh, we, bought the, we bought this from, uh, where did we buy this from? We bought this from Pound Stretcher for only 99p. For 99p only. Uh, make sure it's a reasonable size. Uh, the size of this one, I'll tell you, this is about uh, 11 inch by 16 inch and the dip is about 7 inch so that's this is big enough it's large enough for a container um, we would need to make two two holes in them one right in the center here now the hole has to be about one inch in diameter and a smaller hole right here about half an inch in diameters you will need a drill with a hole cutter but if you don't have a drill you can also use a pointy screwdriver and a Stanley knife okay so we're going to cut a hole we're going to cut a hole right in the center here right in the center now the hole has make sure it's no bigger make sure it's about one inch in diameters so we're going to actually use this drill Okay, so we've cut the first hole right in the center. This is this is where the the chili pot would sit in sit on the top here. Now we need to cut a second hole on the side so that, that the purpose of the second hole is to uh, fill in with water. Okay, so we made we we've cut two holes into the. Um, cover of the container, one in the center, about an inch in diameter, slightly larger than the one in the side. So this is where the plant will sit and this is the hole that we'll be using to put the water in. Now I know uh, many of you might not have a drill, so we're going to show you how to drill two holes into the cover uh, using a screwdriver and a Stanley knife. Safety comes first. Make sure you wear your gloves and kids if you're watching this don't try this at home. My, I'm being super, supervised by my dad. I'm going to use a 2p coin and a 1p coin to get an accurate size. I'm going to place the 2p coin on the center of the cover and I'm going to use the 1p coin on the second hole and draw around it. Get a marker pen and draw around the coins. I got the cover all marked now, now let's put this to the side. I'm going to heat up the tip of the screwdriver under the cooker. Now let's heat up the tip. Be careful when you're doing this. When it's, when it's really hot, I'll be poking the holes into the cover. goes right through and right out you need to keep heating the tip until you get six or seven holes as you can see I cut holes using the heated screwdriver around the marked circle 
Now I'm going using a Stanley knife. I'm going to cut around it. This is the tricky part. I think I'm going to let my dad do it. Okay, right now we need a sharp Stanley knife. Uh, Akib has poked holes onto the marked circle that we're going to make holes on. Now we're going to need a Stanley knife to cut around it. Now make sure safety comes first. Make sure, keep it away. Make, make sure you know where your hands are, where your legs are. And we just need a sharp knife to just cut this carefully. This is quite tricky here. So just cut it nicely. Be patient with it. And make sure you know where your legs and your hands are. You don't want to cut your legs or your hand. Okay, yeah. now we've taken that out. It's got a nice hole into it, about an inch in diameters. Now let's cut the other one. Right, we've got two holes now. One is about an inch diameter and one, inch, one is about half an inch in diameters. Now let's get the chili plant ready with the wicks. Okay, so we've got the container ready, water container ready. Now the second stage. We need a, uh, a pot for this chili plant to go in. Now we need to cut a hole at the bottom here for the wicks to go in. We use this drill to cut a hole under the, under the pot. But again, if you don't have a drill, use the method that my son showed you earlier, using a pointing screwdriver, heating it and poking uh, holes into it and then cutting uh, with a Stanley knife. Okay. So we, ha we have a hole under the pot now, about an inch in diameters. Okay, this is the third stage. Uh, this is, uh, we're going to make water wicks out of this uh, material, okay? Now, this, this material is, uh, is used for cleaning household, kitchen, or maybe windows, or even car. So, it's, it's made out of synthetic fiber. Um, so, we're going to make the wicks out of this, this one. It costs us only a pound. So, let's fold this, so it'll be easier for me to cut this. We need to make three wicks, so let's cut this about two inch in wide. Okay, so we have a hole under the pot which is about one inch in diameters and we have three water wicks. Um, hold them, hold them three together and put the water wicks through the hole and bring it out the other end. Now this is very important. You need to have the bottom end long enough to reach the bottom of the water tank. So our water tank is about 8 inch deep. So I left it about 10 inch at the bottom. And the top should be long enough to come under the soil up to the top but just under the soil. It should not be exposed above the soil. Make sure you have extra holes, uh, at least two or three extra holes at the bottom for excess water to drain down. Now we're going to put some soil into the pot. So I'm using just normal compost at the bottom. So I'm going to place some compost at the bottom. I'm going to be adding some chicken manure, not too much because uh, the feed we're going to be adding into the water tank. So just a few, just, just a few um, chicken manure pellets. Some fish, bone and blood, just a little bit and mix it. You want to keep the wicks close to the root ball as, as possible of the chili plant. So 
So that's looking good. Now we're going to take the chili plant out of this pot and place it on the other pot, right in the middle. So make sure the water wicks is close to the root ball as possible. Now put soil around it to cover the wicks on the root ball. Make sure you cover the wicks properly, it's not exposed to the sun. So this is looking good. So now we have the wicks at the bottom and we have wicks going into the plant so whenever the plant needs water it will suck the water through the wicks into the plant so you would never have to water the plant again now you may have to sometime if it's a very hot day just sprinkle a little bit of water spray a bit of water around the topsoil if, if needing otherwise you won't have to you just have to top up the water into the water tank next step the chilli plant is ready, now we need to add the water and the feed. Sure, the water is not all the way to the top. Keep it about two inch down, so about here. So I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. Okay, so now we need to uh, put feed into the water and we use tomato feed for our chili plant. So I'm going to add uh, tomato feed into the water. So what did we put in here? We put 12 litres. About 12 to 13 litres. So we need about 50 milliliters. Milliliter. Okay. So let's add that. 50 is so here. This is, it, has, it has 40 on there. So we need 40. No, 50 is right there. Is there 50 there? Okay, yeah. so we need a cap. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. So one full cap of tomato feed into the, into water. the water and we use uh, tomorite now a, a, a tablespoon of Epsom salt and we'll dissolve maybe just a slightly more okay and now uh, one tablet of aspirin now this aspirin um, is disposable so make sure if the one dissolves into the water this is about 300 milligram so I'm going to add just one tablet into the water, water. and now I'm going to mix it all together so it can dissolve mix it well so everything can dissolve put the wicks through the hole through this hole here through this hole here so you hold this okay. you, you hold this let me try to put this in you need two people for this by the way so let's put this in there and I could pull it from yeah, the bottom put it from the bottom put it from the bottom okay it's gone now has set so nicely gone through yeah okay now we have to now put we the have lid to on. put the put the lead back onto the so now we have the water inside the tank and the feed so we won't have to bother with feeding uh, with plant food or any water time to time every couple of weeks uh, we have to check make sure there's uh, enough water in there and this is why we're going to make a dipstick okay and we're going to put two markers here we're going to put two markers one for the bottom this is the bottom mark so water should not go below that and we're going to put this is the maximum mark so the water should not go below that and the water should not go above that so this is how you check make sure you have enough water so the dipstick is for the second hole that we made we're going to place the dipstick into the hole here the water is up to the maximum mark so I'm not going to allow the water to go above that and I'm not going to go allow so if I see water somewhere here I will have to 
put the funnel and then using the funnel I'm going to pour water into the tank and adding my feed which is tomato feed and some Epsom salt time to time so once you have filled up water into this tank and your feed you need to cover this hole so the, it's not exposed to sunlight so the, the sunlight should not go into that so you could put a black tape over it or I've, I've run out of black tape so I'm going to use this plastic bag uh, which I've cut, I've cut off from the dustbin so I'm going to just place that in here okay not all the way through so that that will cover that now that wasn't too hard was it this is uh, so we've, we've designed our own self-watering self-feeding chili planter now you could have your tomato plant in here any any plant in here but just make sure you keep this in a dry place you don't want rain falling into this uh, uh, um, pot so I'm going to place this in my uh, greenhouse you can place them in your conservatory or um, I don't know somewhere sunny inside your house like a windowsill but first time you need to sprinkle a little bit of water on the top because the soil's very dry just a slight water on the top uh, but after that you'll have when the plant needs water it will uh, suck water into the plant now I want to show you something very important for you to maximize your uh, chilies in your chili plant you now this is very important you want to prune your chili plant so you, you don't want one langy stem going upward you want side stems coming out so we're going to uh, cut the tip of this stem on the top bring the camera down I keep so I'm going to show it so can you see the stem going up I'm going to just cut this just there so now we will get side stem coming up on this chili plant so you'll maximize your chili They're looking good, aren't they? Yeah, they're looking beautiful. So we have two, two of them inside this uh, um, greenhouse. Greenhouse, and this is the one we've done uh, last week. It's settled down. It's looking good. Amelia, this is your chili plant, isn't it? It looks beautiful, and it's already starting to flower. Oh, the, Amelia, this ch chili plant starting to flower already. Yeah, it's already starting to bloom. You're going to get your chilies on this plant first before everybody else. Amelia, you're getting more chilies than me. This chili plant, um, now on this chili plant, uh, plant, we'll be adding some tomato feed. It's time to add some tomato feed to this chili plant. We, we usually uh, start e uh, using tomato feed when the chili start blooming. Blooming, yeah. Blooming, so that's the time that's the best time to start feeding with tomato feed this is our strawberry plant we got two of these one for Amelia and one for me this is Amelia's one and is already starting to flower look at this oh, it's look. blooming already no we already have strawberries look yeah they're growing look 10 days ago I made a video on how to grow potatoes in a shopping bag and take a look it's already coming out Oh, look at that. The potatoes are starting to come out. I can't wait to get fresh potatoes from this shopping bag. Hopefully we'll get plenty of potatoes from this um, shopping bag. And I can't believe it's already coming out. If you haven't seen that video, it's a must watch video. It's the easiest way to grow potatoes. It's simple. It, it's easy. And while you're doing it, you don't need to break your back. All these plants are ready to go into the ground. We're going to wait till the second week of May, then we'll um, plant them into the ground because on the second week of May, um, the weather's slightly going to get warmer. We got all different types of vegetables here. These are our cucumbers. These are cucumber plants, the cucumber seeds we got from Bangladesh this year. Yeah. So let's hope that they grow well. They're looking really healthy though, don't they? Do. they? and our chilies oh these are the chilies that we kept from last year they're doing well and these are some chilies still young but hopefully in two or three weeks time that's going to get bigger now don't worry if your chili plant hasn't gone bigger some of our chili plants are still quite small and these are the ones that we've grown a lot earlier we started off uh, uh, february and 
they cannot coming up really nicely all our vegetables in this greenhouse are coming up really nicely we even got some vegetables on top of here what are these? These, these are cucumbers again isn't it yeah and these are some chilies these are, these are krishna chili which is the purple chilies black and purple chilies oh, okay i really hope you enjoy watching our videos did you know i also make cooking videos and traveling videos and i also have a separate youtube channel for younger viewers it's called akib's fun tv i'll leave the channel link in the description down below and i'll also leave some cooking videos in the description down below try the recipes out they're delicious if you're new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment on my videos and don't forget to share with friends and family stay safe assalamu alaikum and until then i'll see you in the next one did you watch our last videos uh, we made a couple of videos on how to grow bottle gold in a container we've also made a video um easiest way to grow bottle gold um uh, in the ground if you haven't seen those videos uh, we'll leave the link in the description down below i really hope you enjoy watching our videos uh, if you like them please give, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family and um, stay safe assalamu alaikum and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>